In this video, we are going to calculate the packing efficiency of a body-centered cubic unit cell. Right, so this is a body-centered cubic unit cell. It's a cubic unit cell which has uh, one atom or one sphere in each one of the eight corners. And then uh, the rest of the unit cell is completed by a sphere that is right in the middle of the unit cell. Okay, so uh, the, the, what we're going to do here is just try to calculate how much of the space uh, in a unit cell or in the metal or in the solid is occupied by atoms and how much of that space is empty by calculating something that we call the packing efficiency, which is simply the ratio of the volume occupied by the atoms over uh, the volume of the unit cell. All right, so um, the question is, well, uh, to calculate the volume occupied by the atoms in the unit cell, you simply have to calculate uh, how many atoms you have in the unit cell and the volume of each one of those atoms. Right, so if we uh, make memory of how many atoms we have in the unit cell, notice that uh, these unit cells, each corner is shared by eight neighboring unit cells, and that means that of each of the atoms that you have in the corner of the unit cell, uh, only one eighth uh, belongs to the unit cell proper. Okay, so because you have eight atoms uh, in the unit cell, but only one eighth belongs to the unit cell, then there will be one atom coming from the corners. And then you have the atom right at the center, this one, right? So that belongs outright to the unit cell. It's not shared with uh, any neighboring unit cells. So that will add another atom to the unit cell. So in total, you have that in a body-centered cubic unit cell, there's two atoms uh, per unit cell. All right, so then we can come here, and then the idea here would be that you have two atoms uh, per unit cell, and the volume of each atom is 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius of each of these atoms. Right, so then uh, from here we simply have to calculate what is the total volume in the body-centered cubic unit cell, and then we'll be uh, in business here. Notice that that volume is simply going to be the side of this uh, r cube uh, uh, multiplied or, or to the power of 3, right? And that's what we call this E. All right, the question is, well, uh, that's fine, but somehow we need to be able to relate uh, the side of this cube to the radius of the atom so that we can have here a cancellation of those R's and then uh, be able to calculate properly what the packing efficiency would be. All right, so, so let's try to see how we can uh, relate the radius of uh, the atom to some geometric parameter of the unit cell. Notice that uh, the spheres are not touching along the edge, right? So the edge is not going to give us directly uh, a, a measure of the, uh, there's not, not a direct connection with the radius of the spheres. Notice that uh, the phase diagonal, those spheres are not touching either, and that's something that is different from uh, the phase-centered cubic unit cell. Instead, what happens is that uh, it's the body diagonal in which you have spheres touching, right? The body diagonal goes from one corner to the opposite corner, right? So if we uh, place ourselves right there, right, the body diagonal will go from that corner, which is top right uh, bottom, and then uh, from left uh, uh, up, right? So uh, that's what we called the body diagonal, and we're going to call this B, right? We know that that B is equal to four radii because you have that half of the radius of this sphere in this corner and then two radii of the central sphere, and then one more radius of uh, the sphere on the other corner, that's what that's the length of your body diagonal, right? So that is, that is your relationship right here, right? So somehow, we're going to have to relate uh, this B, body diagonal, to the edge, right? And we're going to do that using trigonometry, right? Notice that uh, we can apply the uh, Pythagorean theorem, right? If we draw a triangle like this, where you would have that... Uh, that will be 90 degrees, that is the edge, and this is what we call the phase diagonal. All right, and from here it stems that, well, B squared, the body diagonal, has to be equal to the phase diagonal squared plus the edge squared, okay? All right, so uh, the question is, well, uh, how do we put this uh, phase diagonal as a function of something else so that we can have a cancellation? Well, we can go to simply one of the phases, say this one, right, and then notice, that the phase diagonal squared is going to be equal to uh, e squared plus e squared. And again, that's, again, the Pythagorean theorem for just one of the phases. 
Okay, so we uh, take that expression in there, and we say that the body, body diagonal squared is going to be equal to the face diagonal squared, which is this, plus e squared, that one, and that means that this is just three e uh, three e squared, right? Because the body squared is equal to four r. Then we have here uh, sixteen r squared is equal to three e squared. Okay, and that allows us to calculate a relationship between um, the edge and the uh, radius of that atom. All right, so that relationship is going to be as follows. E is going to be equal to uh, 16 thirds to the one half R. Okay, so from here we can come to the uh, total volume of the unit cell, and that is going to be this number cubed. So that is going to be 16 thirds cubed, or three halves uh, R cubed. Okay? All right, so you cancel these R cubes, and that is just a number that you can uh, easily calculate to find out what the packing efficiency is. The packing efficiency is going to be 0 0.68, which is 60% of the volume, right? So 60% of the volume in a body-centered cubic unit cell is occupied by atoms. Now, that is not as high as what we have in a face-centered uh, cubic unit cell, where the uh, packing efficiency reaches 74%. Right, so body-centered is not as good, as not, not as sufficient a packing as a uh, face-centered uh, cubic unit cell, but still is, is uh, uh, one of the unit cells that is, that is used in, uh, in nature by many metals to pack.